Hi friends, today I'm gonna share with you my favorite recipe for perfect homemade oatmeal cookies. First, you wanna be mixing together your butter and sugar and add in your eggs. Mix on high or blend by hand. Next, you can add in your vanilla extract. You can find a recipe for a homemade vanilla extract right here on our blog. Now you're going to want to add your dry ingredients to a separate bowl, of course. Start with your flour, then add in your rolled oats. Sometimes I mix it up and add some quick oats on top of my rolled oats. It doesn't really matter. It just makes for a heartier cookie if you use rolled oats. This is true cinnamon. I love true cinnamon in baked recipes. One teaspoon is enough. Blend together well all of your dry ingredients. It doesn't really matter if you use a whisk or a wooden spoon. It just matters that it's well blended so that the baking powder is spread throughout evenly. Next, add one cup at a time of your dry mix to your wet mix. Blend thoroughly. Now you get to add in anything you want. I prefer milk chocolate chips and cranberries. Some of our kids like coconut and dark chocolate chips. You could add, even add a little drizzle of honey. It doesn't really matter. It's to your preference and taste. Now is your chance to get your hands gooey. It's really fun. It's like being a kid playing with Play-Doh again. I love this part. So you just want to scoop out a little patty of dough and kind of roll it around in your hands. I like to pray or think about something funny while I'm doing this. It's kind of like a little moment of meditation for me. Anyways, so once you have a little patty of dough, roll it around really nice. And it doesn't really matter if it's a shape of a circle or you could even make a cookie log if you want. The important thing is that it is flattened out a little bit so it will be delicious and crispy around the edges and soft and chewy in the middle. Bye. All ready to go. They look so good. I just love oatmeal cookies. Mmm, they are good. Thanks for watching.